hi guys and um, welcome back to today's video my name is chikzema and i'm a nigerian youtuber a youtuber based in nigeria nigerian youtuber and you're welcome back to today's video um if this is your first time stopping by you're really welcome and if you're returning you're also highly welcome back today's video and in today's video i'll be talking about how to plan your youtube video content so i hope you stick by and watch to the end of this video so i'll be talking about three ways for you to plan your youtube video if you're confused on how to make plans or how to um decide to make your youtube video so I'm talking about three ways, three plans, three methods, whichever one you want to call it. But these three ways are just going to help you um, fulfill your YouTube goals. So the first one I'll be talking about is brain dump. Now, when I mean by brain dump, I'll start by saying that I have a note on my phone where I write down whatever comes into my head. In fact, I title the notes YouTube ideas. So whenever I'm walking on the street, I'm in the car, I'm at home, I'm anywhere i am and an idea comes up the first thing i do is to write down that idea on that part that's on my notes on my phone and i'll be giving you guys four tips under this window now the first tip is to write down whatever comes to your head wherever you are whatever you're doing if a youtube idea comes to your head no matter how good or how bad you think it is even if it's an idea you saw from someone else's video or another person's video you're trying to recreate the first thing to do is to write it down so you don't forget it so that's the reason why you write it down so you do not forget you know you had this idea so if you have um a notepad or whatever you have your phone physically because um you're always with our phone so if you have your phone the best thing to do is just write down that idea immediately the second tip is to narrow it down in your free time um after writing down those ideas, um, the second now tell you to narrow it down. Now with them, you have to look at your niche. You know that's one of the important things when you're trying to narrow down your videos. You could have plenty of ideas, but if they're not in your niche, you know, um, it could just be off. Especially if you're trying to concentrate on a particular video. Let's say you are a hair, um, YouTuber and you have an idea about clothing. You know, you could write it down at that moment, but then when you're trying to write them, um, narrow it down. Realize that, okay this dressing dressing up might not really be part of my niche and you don't want to add it to your youtube videos you could just remove that part now you can have as much ideas as 50 ideas literally when you have an idea for youtube no one is going to come and tell you oh this is enough no you can have as plenty ideas as possible 50 100 whatever it is i literally have a lot of ideas that I never just recreate go you know because they are not things i end up have, having to want to create but then you could just have as plenty ideas as possible. No one is going to um, stop you from having these ideas. No one is going to stop you from looking at someone and seeing video, you know, and be like, okay, I want to create something like this. So you just get to write it down. And that is the second thing. The third thing I'm talking about is not to overthink it. Whatever pops up in your head, especially as a new YouTuber, is um, common for us to want to think about you know think and think about okay what will put people think about when i made this kind of video whatever pops into your head at that moment you do not need to think too much about it just write it down you might not get to create that video in the first year you wrote it down but then some of that time by the time you go on youtube you also want to like create that video but because you wrote it down you have an idea to go back and be like okay i should create this video now so whatever pops up into your head just write it down do not narrow yourself do not delete yourself do not um say you can't do it oh this idea is too large oh okay this video might take hours to make whatever it is that comes to your head at that moment is best for you to note it down and um the fourth tip i'll be giving is if possible do short videos you know and watch it let's say um you're trying to make a clothing haul and you've never done a clothing haul before and you know you you could just try out with your old clothes see what it looks like you're doing a clothing haul see if your background is rhyming see if you're if you're just in rhyming with the video if the things you're saying the video is going well so you could make the video not for you to post but for your own personal you know need and you could watch it later on and then decide okay fine i really like the way i look making clothing haul and i would love to make 
protein whole egg proper protein whole later on so still on the fourth one i'll be talking about i will be keeping in the um there are some questions you need to ask yourself when you're finalizing your video such as your target audience and their struggles um knowing what your tag knowing who your target audience are you know are is um like the important thing you need to know and then knowing their struggle let's say you're trying to reach out to ladies on 4c hair you know you could make you're making videos for them and so you have to know okay, they are struggling to grow their hair long they're struggling to make their hair soft all these things will help you out and i would also keep in by saying a majority of the times the video that you think doesn't really make sense ends up being the video that goes viral and ends up being the video that you gets to the audience that you actually need so do not believe to any single thoughts you have not believe to any single video you want to make you know as you're putting out the video believe in the video share it out you know so basically um these two questions you should be asking yourself who are my target audience and what are they struggling with should help you when you're analyzing your videos now the next thing i'm talking about is the title description and tags as for titles um titles matter a lot on youtube um because when people are searching for something they write something specifically let's say i'm searching for um how to braid cornrows and in the process of you searching how to braid cornrows if your video title let's say you made a video about how to braid cornrows but then you didn't put anything that has to do with cornrows on the entire title it could just um make you not even pop up when someone is looking for that um kind of video so um titles and your descriptions and your tags are very important for titles you can use things like two body um video iq and chat gpt those things help you you know get the specific titles for your youtube videos and they also you know search out other youtube videos and help you align your video with other trending videos so for your description description i would really recommend you using chat gpt um it helps you align your video so um when you're trying to have a description make sure your description is imparting knowledge into your viewers and a typical example is if you're doing a cooking video or a baking video you could go as far as writing the ingredients down on your description even writing the um, quantity the quality the amount the brand all those things have matter a lot um also your description is a good way is a good place for you to advertise yourself like okay don't forget to hit the subscribe button like i'm about to say right now if you've reached this part in this video please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and become a part of my family so in your description you should actually keep in you know hitting the subscribe button keeping your other um social media accounts you could keep in everything around the everything that you yeah you want to know about even description is where you put chipping athlete links like okay where they got their three post stands from and if you're making vlogs you could you could write down all the things you use for your vlogs where you went to the type of phone you use for the vlogging the type of digital camera you use for your vlogging the type of um you know um, microphone you use everything you use for your vlogging so um your description needs to be packed you know it needs to be educative you know and people go as far as outlining up their videos like okay from one to from the one minute to five minutes i'm talking about this from two minutes to ten minutes i'm talking about this so you could go as far as doing that in your description now for your tags i would recommend using to body and video iq they help you with tags they help you with um hashtags yeah, basically hashtags so you could use those ones when you're uploading your video if you just register i don't think they pay too much for them you could register and when you're uploading your video you could just easily tag and tag as much as possible so your video could actually rank on the search videos for that particular video or for that particular topic now the third thing i'll be talking about i told you guys i have three things for you to learn that i'm trying to teach you when you're trying to um create your youtube content and the first one was the brainstorm the second was your title description and tags and the last one is your outlining i've mentioned outlining in the other parts of this video but talking about outlining i'll be specifically talking about when you're trying to create your video now you've chosen the topic you want for this video you've chosen your title you've chosen your description you've chosen your tags or your tags could come later your description also come later when you're uploading your video 
but then we are talking about the outline this is very 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 important because um majority of the times i use a book or i use a laptop now if you're um recording with your digital camera you could use your phone you know to outline everything you want to talk about so when you're lost you can just look down or look at your phone wherever it is and you'll get to speak about it so outlining is very important so you don't get lost in your video you know also it helps you know what you're going to talk about let's say you're trying to talk about um how to create your youtube content and i wrote as i wrote down here apart from the brainstorming the titles and the outlining i also outline my video by writing down okay under the brainstorm i'm going to talk about you download you um searching for use searching for um ideas and saving those ideas writing down those ideas you know you write down every single thing you want to talk about in your video you don't have to write the entire words one by one but you could give yourself tips okay and um the other thing i'll be talking about in outlining is that when you're outlining your video you could help yourself out more by watching other youtubers and seeing how they make their videos and seeing how they outline their videos what came after next what came after this and that way you could be able to um outline your video properly and produce your videos so these are the three tips i've given you guys today on how to schedule your youtube content and bring it out perfectly well so if you're starting youtube newly you could just you know follow this process like i said brainstorm your title description and tags and finally your outlining these things are very important if you're not starting youtube newly and you're just trying to find a way you could actually still follow this process and if you've come to the end of this video i'll be expecting to hit the subscribe button and become a part of this family don't forget to share with your friends anyone trying to start a youtube video you could share it with them and also don't forget to like this video and leave questions in the comment section i'll definitely answer you when i can definitely i'll have the time so i will answer you and i'll see you guys in my next video Bye bye